And now to the latest on Philadelphia's crisis of violence. As seen live on CBS News Philly earlier, authorities updated us on several major investigations. They are asking for the public's help to track down suspects in a number of unsolved cases. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is live in Spring Garden. Alicia? The city is seven homicides short of where we were this time last year. Five of them happening this past weekend. Police officials held a press conference within the last two hours to talk about those investigations. But one case in particular we want to talk about this hour happened on January 24th. We want to show you newly released surveillance video of that incident. It happened near Broad and Allegheny Avenue, where Hiram Hill, the son of an active duty Philadelphia police officer, was killed in in a brazen shooting, police are asking for the public's help in identifying two men, one in a blue hooded jacket with white stripes and a noticeable limp, the other from a police body cam footage who happened to be talking to police about a separate incident that occurred about 15 minutes prior to the homicide in question. Now, police say the 24-year-old victim was exiting a store when both men attempted to rob him. Suspect number one in the blue jacket fired through his pocket. The victim tried running away when suspect number two also opened fire. They both then fled in a silver Kia Forte that was reported stolen two days prior. Suspect number one abruptly fired through his jacket pocket at Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill turned and attempted to flee westbound on Allegheny Avenue. That's all captured on surveillance video. As Mr. Hill was attempting to flee from our first suspect, he ran into suspect number two. Who had been walking eastbound on Allegheny Avenue towards him. Suspect number two immediately opens fire on Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill is forced to run out onto Allegheny Avenue, at which time he collapses onto the highway. Now, police are offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction of the two suspects in this case. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll talk more about the shootings that happened over this past Easter weekend. Reporting live from Spring Garden, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Alicia. The